Good evening, church. It's good to see you all guys today. So for the next few minutes, I want to share a few quick tips and nuggets on what has helped me evangelize and invite people to church. First of all, what's evangelizing is, means? It's um, sharing the gospel, sharing the good news, uh, sharing testimonies of what God has done in your life, and inviting people to church, correct? So when I decided and figured out that my purpose in life in this world was to plant sow seeds into people's life every day, it made it easier to go out and evangelize because now I was evangelizing with a purpose instead of an, with an agenda. And I feel like a lot of us first go out and evangelize with an agenda instead of a purpose. And, and what do I mean by an agenda? We shouldn't be going out there uh, picking a specific date or time when to go out and evangelize, evangelize like, all right, Luis, uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to go out for an hour and evangelize and going out to stores like, uh, to like the mall or the park, targeting people, picking out who we're going to talk to Jesus about, creeping up like, all right, that guy over there, he's eating a bag of Cheetos with, and the bag of Cheetos has fire on the bag and there's fire in hell, so he needs Jesus. No, it's, not, it's nothing like that, you know what I mean? Nah, it's, it's nothing like that. Um, you should just evangelize. It should be in your daily life. Uh, every, every day when you go out to work, to the gym, at the bank, it should be uh, a subject that should be easily brought up and make a conversation about. All right, Luis, but it's not really easy for me to bring, bring that subject up as a conversation. I also want to share a simple phrase that has helped me recently to get up, bring that conversation, uh, that subject up. And, and it's this simple phrase right here. You ready? But what I'm really excited about, I'll say it one more time, but what I'm really excited about, and I'll give you guys an example of how I use it. Um, the, uh, when we had our first Miracle Catch in the, about two to three weeks ago, for those who come to our Miracle Catch service, uh, we have a, a video, the one that we just played a little bit ago, a new one. And in that Miracle Catch service, we had that video. It was, it was the, a brand new exclusive. And so, <laughs> so when, we, when, when, we, when we were shooting that video here outside of church, uh, we took pictures, you know, just for memories and fun. And then after that, the next day, um, everywhere I went, you know, I went to my old job, at my current job, at my friend's house, my family. And then that's how I brought that, that subject up. You know, they, we would just start a general conversation. Hey, what have you been up to? Uh, uh, same old uh, work, gym, uh, studying. Hey, you know what? But what I'm really excited about is this new video we made right here. And I will pull on my phone and I will go through the pictures and be like, look, that's me right there. Little Carlitos Holmes. Yeah, right there, you know? <laughs> that, that was my character right there. Yeah, that was me. That was me. And, you know, we go through the picture. I'm like, "What? That's crazy. That's you." I'm like, "Yeah." You know, um, we made. It, the, they would ask me, "What's, what's this video about?" I'm like, "Oh, it's for my church. Uh, we make videos of how not to invite people to church, and we put a little comedy into it, and this and that." And, you know, it was pretty fun. It's pretty crazy how, how even people at my church didn't even recognize me. My youth pastor thought I was wearing a costume. Only if he knew that came out straight on my wardrobe. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. So, I mean, that, 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 that's what, that, that's what I, I've been using, you know? And you don't have to wait for, like, every Miracle Cat service to, to invite people to come and, sh uh, and watch our videos, even though that's what I did. I didn't really say, oh, I'll come to my church. I said, come and check out my video, you know? And they were like, yeah, I'll go check it out. And, you know, some people did come. And, and every day, I, I mean, every week, you know, there's exciting things happening here at Hungry Generation. If you've probably been here for, like, a few times. You want to bring a friend or family member. Hey, you know what? What I'm really excited about is this Wednesday. I've been going to new, this new church. They got a great uh, worship team, uh, great friendly people, great teaching their sermons. Um, Friday, yeah, you know what? I'm, but I'm really excited about this Friday. I'm going to this new school called Training from Raining, where leaders come and uh, teach us about leadership and growing my, my leader. My, my leadership, hey, you know what, what I'm really excited about is Sunday, we got a prayer line service, and let me tell you, sometimes some crazy stuff happens right there. If, if you've never been there before, you should come and check it out. I'm pretty, pretty sure you've never seen it. You know, there's a lot of things, and this Saturday coming up, there's a, uh, on a pretty fun event, an exciting event coming up, right? You guys heard about a Valentine's banquet. You know, that's what I'm going to be using to evangelize, going out and inviting people. Hey, you know what I'm really excited about? And I'm going to shock a few people I know. What I'm really excited about is this Saturday, Valentine's. Think about like, Valentine's? What, what do you mean? Oh, you got a girlfriend, Luis? Finally? Uh, no, um, not, not exactly. You got a boyfriend? No, man. I am a boy. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> So, uh, and I, I mean, I hope all you guys are going to make it too and, you know, go out and invite people to Valentine's Banquet. So there you have it, you know. Go and evangelize with a purpose, not with an agenda. And, you, and actually, as a matter of fact, I'll just practice real quick. I'm going to say it, and then you guys are going to repeat after me, right? 
But what I'm really excited about. For real? Like, that was all, you got to show excitement one more time, one more time. But what I'm really excited about. What I'm really excited about. There we go. That was much better. That was much better. We could practice a little more.